set of if statements with nested set value um, statements um, that works fine. However, I'm not so sure how well it works if you have um, text uh, that may have like an at sign in it or like a, an email or whatever. Um, the code for the if statements with the nested set value statements was not working on something uh, Manny was working on. And I decided to try something different. And I just want you to be able to put in your toolbox and know that this would work. So it's very basic. Um, we want to be able to select like the name of someone here yet store their email it as a variable um, in another field so that it can be used subsequently in let's say an alert notification or whatever but it would be determined it would be pulled sort of from the first uh, drop down so for example if I select Terry well uh, now I have Katie's problem. Oh, I, I'm not in a real record. That's my problem. Okay, so let's try this now. So if I have, if I pull up Terry, then my email comes up. If I pull up Colleen, Colleen's email pops up right away. So um, I just wanted to show how that you can do that. Uh, and this is nesting if statement with calc text. So it nests a little differently than the at if statement that we were showing before. So this just starts with one at statement. This is a calc text uh, statement and then it nests regular if not at if statements. So it looks at the variable and says if it's one, then it, it, more or less you're sort of hard coding in these uh, uh, email addresses. So if you were to add to text one field, then you'd have to add to this to make sure that these are all still jiving. And, and you would want to follow the same uh, rules that we use normally if you're going to add somebody. Uh, so let's say that I added um, Keith. Okay, and let's say um, I, I was not going to show Manny any further, then I'd use a different action tag this time. Rather than deleting Manny, off of this, I'd use the hide choice and I'd say hide choice equals two. And save this. And so now if I come to my record status dashboard, I'll see that can no longer see Manny and you could see Keith. However, and so if you pick somebody here, but if you pick up Keith, then nothing happens. So obviously you then have to populate that second um, at calc text object. And, and you could leave uh, Manny in here or take him out, doesn't matter, You an easy, in this case, fix in this case would be, so if it's five, then it's Keith Norton at Arizona. And so now let's come back to our status dashboard. And if we pick up Keith, you can see it populates. So, you know, you have to kind of work together it isn't just uh grabbing it from outside somewhere but yet uh, it allows you to populate that text box with 
um, something that you use in your drop down. So this can come in handy again if you're doing some kind of alert notification and you need to carry the variable uh, for something in a text box.